uh, welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Today we will look at a uh, beer from a brewery that I haven't thought about in a long, long time. They have been around for quite a while. I just have not seen their beers for a long, long time. Uh, and that brewery is called Doppo. And it is located in Okayama City. And it, the parent company is called Miyashita Sake Brewery Company Limited. Again, located in Okayama, which is in the central part of Japan, uh, a small city. And they uh, have been operating as a sake brewery since 1915 and as a beer brewery since 1995. And they call themselves the pioneer of Japanese microbrewery. Um, and this, uh, they apparently claim to be the ninth craft brewer, brewer, uh, brewery in Japan. Uh, I'm not sure if that's true or not, but it's possible. Uh, the laws changed in 1994, uh, the tax laws, which led to a big uh, uh, boom in craft brewer breweries in Japan. And so they've been around a long time. Uh, I've never been terribly impressed with their beers, to be honest. Um, and so we will see how this goes. Uh, on Rate Beer, they have, Dopo has 29 beers listed. On Untapped, there are 48 beers. Some of them may be duplicates, I'm not sure. Uh, but there are 3,126 total ratings on Untapped, and the average score is 3.36. Uh, they have a restaurant and brewery and distillery in one location called Topokan in uh, Okayama. And the name, uh, the name was actually chosen uh, the name of the brewery was chosen by uh, out of 3,000 possibilities offered by local citizens, uh, and they chose Doppo. And the first character, Do, is the character for Germany, and Po, the second one, is a Step or Walk. Uh, and the name was chosen because their idea was to brew traditional German type beers, uh, which I think at that time, uh, and even now to some degree, people connect beer with Germany. Uh, and that's the way brewing started in Japan, was through German brewers, um, primarily. And so people connect Germany and brewing, beer brewing. So, dopo, uh, a step, uh, walking in the direction of Germany. And so we're going to look at uh, several beers. Uh, they. Uh, suddenly appeared. I haven't seen Dopo for a long time, and suddenly at uh, a large liquor store chain, they came out with uh, I think 11 or 12 different varieties. So we'll see how many we get to then. And we're going to start off today with just one. And here is a, another beer from uh, Dopo uh, Miyashita Sake Brewery, Miyashita Shuzo, uh, in Okayama, and it's called Dopo. Schwarz, and this is a Schwarz beer or black lager, uh, five percent uh, alcohol by volume. And uh, on rate beer, this one has uh, six ratings, and the average is three point four five, pretty high for a you know simple beer. Um, and on Untapped, one hundred and twenty four ratings when I looked, and the average there was three point three nine, a little bit lower which is unusual, usually untapped, a little bit higher than rate beer, but uh, this costs 398 yen, where I bought it. Uh, the uh, Dopo suddenly uh, came out with many beers at uh, the Yamaya chain of liquor stores. I think there were 12 or so, uh, and I picked up their three basic ones. I might go back and get the others, we'll see. Um, uh, some of which I've had before. Uh, and uh, this has a drink by date of uh, August 9th, so we're uh, well away from that, and so it should be fine. Uh, short spears are the darkest of the lagers, um, and uh, people say dunkel or short spear, what's the difference here? Dunkel tends to be a little maltier, not quite as dark. Uh, both of them use roast malt. Uh, the short spear will use malt that's been roasted quite a bit more. So it will look very, very dark. Schwarz, of course, means black in German. All right, and Dopo, of course, is a brewery that started by making German-style beers, and in fact, that's in their name. Do means Germany, and Po is like step or walk. 
Okay, let's try this one out, shall we? Dopo Shivatsu. It is rather thick. Black as can be. Or very, very dark brown, let's say. And kind of a dark tan head. Pretty hefty. See some, some lacing from that. And it's kind of a cafe au lait sort of look to it. Okay, oh my, very nice dark roasty nose. Some dark fruit in there. Almost kind of, kind of smoked. Very rich, rich aroma. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, it's just got the heavy, heavily roasted malt. Uh, it's just on the edge of char or something like that. So, uh, if you've had a, like an imperial stout uh, that which you know has heavily roasted malts in it, you get something that tastes. With, it's called char. Uh, very, very ashy sort of uh, kind of uh, feel and uh, flavor. But this one is just on the edge of that. Some dark fruitiness running through it. Um, mild bitterness. It's not, not very strong in the bitterness category, but it flows along very nicely. Uh, after mid-palate, it doesn't really go anywhere. Kind of creamy in the mouth, a nice mouth feel. Um, yeah, this is fine. Uh, it's uh, one dimensional, maybe, or maybe two. I don't, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, it hits its note, and it's a nice one, but it re doesn't really develop beyond that. So, uh, but I can highly recommend this one. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, the Dopo beers I had many years ago. Uh, didn't lead me to want to try many more, uh, but the three basic ones I've had so far over there, uh, and, and I've reviewed here, are the Pilsner, Dunkel, and the Schwarzbier are all very, very competent. And this is probably the best of the bunch, so I would say give them a go. If you have a Yamaya store in your area, you might want to look around and see uh, if they have Dopo beers. It may not, since it's in uh, Okayama, and I'm not sure if they maybe they have sent them to all the beer, all the Yamaya chain stores around. But uh, yeah, give them a go and uh, try them out. Let me know what you think and do subscribe to the channel. Stay well. Bye-bye.